Problems involving quadratic equations. Remember, when dealing with word problems, it is best to describe as a situation that involves the known and unknown quantities. However, problems involving with equations often lead to only one solution, while quadratic equation itself have two solutions or roots. In this scenario, only one of these solutions or roots will satisfy the problem, while the other root will be disregarded. So in solving any problem in math, you need to follow some simple steps. Step 1. Find what is asked and the given. Step 2. Create an equation. Step 3. Proceed to the solution. Step 4. Do the checking. And for the last step, step 5. Conclusion that will answer the question being said in the problem or being asked in the problem. Example number one. Find two consecutive positive even integers whose product is 48. Again, find two consecutive positive even integers whose product is 48. Now let's have some solution. Step one. Find what is x. Let x be the first even number. And that is a known. Next, let x plus 2 be the next even number. Remember or take note that in finding two consecutive numbers, the difference is only 1. And in finding two consecutive even or odd numbers, the difference is always 2. Next, 48 is the product of the two even positive numbers. And then step 2, write an equation. The equation is said to be x times quantity x plus 2 equals 48. Since x is the first even number and x plus 2 is the next even number and their product is equals to 48. Step 3. You do the solution or proceed to the solution. So you have there x times quantity x plus 2 equals 48. Simplifying this, we arrive with x squared plus 2x equals 48. Next, transpose 48 to the left side of the equations. It became x squared plus 2x minus 48 equals 0. Next, factor. So the factor of x squared plus 2x minus 48 equals 0 is quantity x plus 8 times quantity x minus 6 equals 0. Next, apply the zero factor property. So you will have there x plus 8 equals 0 and x minus 6 equals 0. Simplifying this, x equals negative 8. On the other hand, x equals 6. Since we're looking for a positive even integers, the negative 8 will be discarded for this regard. We will not, we will, so we will be using 6. So if x equals 6, then x plus 2 equals 6 plus 2. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So step 4, write the checking or do the checking. So write the given. Write the equation, x times quantity x plus 2 equals 48. Substitute x with 6, so that would be 6 times 8 equals 48. And 48 equals 48, that is true. Step 5, for the conclusion that will answer the given equation, that step 5, conclusion that will answer what is asked, therefore, the two, no, the two consecutive positive even integers are 6 and 8. Number 2. The width of the rectangle is 4 meters shorter than its length. Find the dimensions of the rectangle if the area is 96 square meters. Again, 
the width of the rectangle is 4 meters shorter than its length. Find the dimensions of the rectangle if the area is 96 square meters. Step 1. Find or write what is asked and what are the given. Let x be the length of the rectangle and 96 square meters is the area of the rectangle. And then x minus 4 because the, uh, the length or the width of the rectangle since the width of the rectangle is 4 meters shorter than its length. So if x is length minus 4, that would be the width of the rectangle. So both length and width of the rectangle is unknown. And the known variable here is only the area of the rectangle. Remember, or just a reminder, it is important to familiarize some formulas like area, perimeter, surface area, volume, and etc. Step 2. Write the equation. For the area of the rectangle, that's length times width. Since the length here is x and the width is x, time, x minus 4, so you write there x times quantity x minus 4 equals 96. Proceed to step 3 or proceed to the solution. x times quantity x minus 4 equals 96. Simplify x squared minus 4x because by distributive property it will become x squared minus 4x equals 96. Then transpose 96 to the left side of the equation. Factor and apply zero factor property you will have there x minus 12 equals zero on the other side you have x plus 8 equals zero simplify x equals 12 on the other hand you have or on the other side you have x minus 8 since there is no negative length then the negative 8 is discarded or disregard so if x is 12 then x minus 4 equals 12 minus 4, so the volume you're with is 8. Step 4, do the checking. Length times width equals the area of the rectangle. So x times x minus 4 equals 96. Length is 12, width is 8. 96, and that is 96 equals 96, and that is true. Conclusion, therefore, the length is 12 meters, and the width is 8 meters of the rectangle. Make sure to write the units of the length and the width. Again, don't forget to write the units. Number 3. A bag is launched at 19.6 meters per second from a 58.8 meter tall building. The equation for the time the bag strikes the t seconds after launch is negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t plus 58.8 equals 0. After how many seconds will it strike the ground? Step 1. Write what is asked and what are the given. t it represents the time the bag will strike the ground, and that is unknown. Step 2. Negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t plus 58.8 equals 0. That would be your equation. Step 3. Proceed to the solution. Negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t plus 58.8 equals 0. Next. Multiply negative 1 over 4.9 both sides of the equation to make the value of your a equals to 1. By multiplying negative 1 over 4.9, we arrive with t squared minus 4t minus 12 equals 0. Afterwards, factor t squared minus 4t minus 12 equals 0. Or the factors are quantity t minus 6 plus quantity t plus 2 equals 0. Apply zero factor property, t minus 6 equals 0, and on the other side, t plus 2 equals 0. Simplifying this, t equals 6, on the other side, t equals negative 2. 
Since we're only concerned with a positive value, the negative 2 is discarded. Step 4. Do the checking. Write the equation. Substitute the value of your t, which is 6. Simplifying that, you will arrive there. Negative 4.9 times 36, because 6 squared is 36, plus 117.6, because 19.6 times 6 is 117.6, plus 58.8. And then simplifying, negative 4.9 times 36, that is 100, negative 176.4. And then you arrive with 0 equals 0. And that is true. Conclusion, therefore, the time needed for the bag to strike the ground is 6 seconds.